And I think all of you know uh, it's not going to it's not going to happen even with that. The euro banks, it's you know, it's now this other story says thirty two whatever thirty two thirty five trillion dollars to get out of the mess to weather the storm. It's not weatherable. You can't do it. No one, Gerald, is even talking about the derivatives market, which is largely dead and worthless now, and that's one one point five quadrillion dollars. Yep, yep. They're not even talking about it. Have you seen it in any yeah, of the media? I haven't. No, no, no one talks about credit swaps for all derivatives anymore. No, no. And, and nobody even knows what they mean. <laughs> all true. <laughs> what, is, uh, yeah. what, what do these things mean, you know? Yeah. Here's one for you. I just, I just hired a new assistant. She was fired from, uh, laid off from a bond company that went belly up, and uh, she had a severance, and uh, she thought she had a nice nest egg. Mm-hmm. And then when she got it, the government took half. Fifty percent. Yeah, fifty yeah, percent. <laughs> so uh, that that greedy pig, what's his name, Sandy, yeah. greedy pig, wild, and from yeah. Citigroup, so they could get in the Citicorp jet uh, during the Christmas vacation yep. and spend the holidays down in Mexico at a tune of a hundred thousand dollars. And and these are the kind of things that are going on. And that's why there's going to be a revolution in this country. And 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 you well know it, and and of course the government, as you alert your your listeners to, they know it too, and they're making provisions to clamp down on dissent. And it's oh, yes, going into the streets. You oh, know, yes. my, my, yeah. As a Bronx boy, my saying is, when people lose everything, and they have nothing left to lose, they lose it. And you got people it. are going to start losing it. We already saw it. You know, people destroying their families and themselves. Yeah. They're going to start taking. We saw demonstrations uh, yeah. up here in uh, Greenwich, Connecticut, and yeah. not far from where we are. You know, uh, uh, about several hundred people mm-hmm. demonstrating against mm-hmm. the bank president at his house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's going to be a time when people are going to be yelling off with their heads. Pitchforks and uh, torches at night surrounding homes. Uh, it could all happen. Yeah, here's another one. Uh, the hits keep on rolling. Nearly 700 Merrill Lynch executives received cash bonuses of more than $1 million each for last year. 700 Merrill Lynch execs got bonuses of a million minimum last year. All right, think about it. How much more can the even mindless portion of this public take? It's uh, it's mind-blowing. Yeah, and and again, you know, what we we want to alert people to is to take proactive measures now, and there aren't a lot of things to do when the ship is sinking. There are lifeboats, there are life rafts, there are life preservers, and then there's the debris to hang on to. And so what we're telling people now and that we're not giving investment advice, but we're still forecasting gold to go toward 2,000 an ounce. Yes, it will. And we also are telling people that, you know, just make provisions, self-defense provisions in any way that you deem necessary. For example, you know, having enough uh, food and dried fruits and water. And this isn't being an Armageddonite. It's only for the possibility of the worst to come. And we're also saying that there is a very good probability that there's going to be some kind of a bank holiday. Yep. And we, we believe that they're going to do it probably around March because that's when things are going to unravel big time yeah. because we're yeah. going to see that the stimulus package was a bust. The $2 trillion that they want to bail out the banks won't do anything and it probably won't happen to the way they want it to. And as you well know, that they also confiscated gold on the FDR oh, yeah. in '33, and they may do the same again. It is hoped that they will leave numismatic or collectible gold alone, the uh, the coin market, so to speak. Uh, and, and that's a hope, but nobody hope. knows. Nobody knows. Cause all bets are off, folks. All bets are off. Dow Jones, uh, seven thousand nine hundred thirty-two. Another six bucks off today. Uh, crude oil. Thirty-four dollars a barrel, folks. Uh, the effort to, uh, according to some, to try to bankrupt the the Arab oil industry 
as it were, OPEC uh, continues. So that, and, and remember, all of this is being essentially manipulated. It's, it's not happening. This, this, they knew this was going to happen. When they got rid of Glass-Steagall and the Clintons allowed this whole derivatives uh, thing to begin in the early 90s, that, that people knew, they knew where it was going to end up. And it's ended up right there. This is no surprise to those people. And the people behind the scenes are making a fortune, and they will they will score. Two things. One, in, in no matter how bad the times, remember there is always opportunity. There is always opportunity in chaos for people who are wise and able to see. That's just a little quick drop in. The other thing we should talk about in the last couple of minutes, California is bankrupt. Forty-five of the 50 states or thereabout that have been polled on this are potentially bankrupt or may file for bankruptcy. They're insolvent. The United States of America is insolvent. California is cutting back now, literally not paying state employees, just not paying them. They're going without a paycheck. Don't like it? Quit your job. That's how crazy it is in California. And California is not alone. So what do we see in terms of the states? What's your forecast there? Oh, it's, that's what this, really the stimulus package is all about. So, yeah. There's so much of it going to the states and trying to keep them afloat. And, no, the, it's all going to go, it's all going under. And you mentioned about, you know, that, you know, a lot of opportunity in this kind of chaos. And there's going to be. You know, just because Starbucks goes out of business, that doesn't mean people won't be drinking coffee. They just won't. And they won't be drinking corporate coffee. You start you know, your own, you folks. You open up a coffee place. You're damn you know, right. And, yeah. and you know, have the be- best crepes. This is really the key, by the way. Normal has become mediocrity in this country. Quality is going to excel. Uh, Local yeah. is yeah. going to thrive. Yep. The mantra is keep your quality. Don't let your quality down. And so people that have price points that are affordable of high quality, smaller portions, for example, in the restaurant business, right. they're going to thrive. Yep. There's going to be an entertainment explosion. You're a Mario Lanza fan. You appreciate quality. It's going to be a rebirth. Believe it or not, the Renaissance, as you well know, happened after the Dark Age. Right. And we could have one now. Nicely said, words to the wise. You folks out there who have toyed with the idea of opening a small business, now is the time. Think about it. Look around you. Watch the malls begin to close. Watch the big chain stores go under. You have literally now an opportunity of a lifetime in many, many ways. Gerald's words are so wise. Quality and customer service. If you're in a business interfacing with the public, make sure you do everything to your very best to give them the service you would want, and you'll succeed. You're rude to people, you're not going to forget about it. And there are going to be opportunities that I can't even imagine yet coming up in the next year or two as this thing continues to unfold. A final comment, Gerald? Yeah, you, you, well, you, you, you're really hitting it on the head when you're talking about the service as well, because so many of these large corporations, people are working for them, and they know it's a dead-end job, and it's like working in the former Soviet Union. You have no ambition because no. you know you're not going to go anywhere. That's right. So if you can open up a place where you really, as you said, you know, give people what you want yourself or do unto others, you should have them do unto you, and you, you're going to be, you're going to thrive. And everything, by the way, alternative, alternative energies, big business. Alternative health, big business. Big business. Absolutely. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. I look forward to speaking to you next month. Keep up the brilliant work. Uh, thanks so much for having me. Okay, Gerald. Bye-bye. Gerald Salenti. And, uh, one of the great, really the great people of our times.